Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of order in all things, especially your inventory. <laughs> I'm Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy to have you here with me, because we just fixed this this little kid. We did a thing. I came into my legacy. I did indeed. I traced father's path and learned the voices of herbs. I entered his secret house and learned his craft. I will take care of his patients. I've proven my deeds that I know the lines. I am a menku. Really? Uh, my treatment held patches. It did indeed. The second time around, anyway. Diagnostics in the fa is the father of treatment. To uh, learn which antibiotic might help patches, I first need to do what I did. Good. Uh, and I don't know if I need to talk to these guys. Hide I do. And seek. Tag, hopscotch, or we might as well play ring around the rosies. Is he gonna make it? Asks Notkin. Well, too early to say. Time will tell. And that bachelor said it was no use. I knew he was lying. The big city grifter. And possible this, gone or that nonsense. Wanted you to abandon us and see him about some urgent business instead. Yeah, I know. I need to go. I wonder what's so urgent. Well, we'll, we'll, well, he, he told us things looked grim and that you should drop everything and to go talk to him because he said it's a desperate situation and our lot has to be quarantined. He said you shouldn't even come here so you don't catch it yourself. Eh, I see. I should pay the man a visit then. I should indeed. Uh, don't think I can do, I can give you more medicine, but there's no need for that. So that's pretty good. Hi. My knee pits itch. Is that bad? Yes. Also, what the heck? Knee, knee pits? That, that's a thing? Isn't that, like, where your, your crotch is? Or is that the, like, I don't know. Let's not talk about the kid's crotch. So, I cleaned up our place. I burned the trash. Took away the bones. I mean, the cracked ones. I put that weird gray goo from the table in a bucket. Might be useful, right? Our place? Did I hear you right? I can also whip up something for us to eat. Got any money? Uh, actually, I do. You whippersnapper. What am I supposed to do with you? Anyway, when are you coming back? Should I wait for you or what? I've just been there. I didn't talk to him, though, but anyway. Uh, someone's got to take care of your dad's stuff and uh, and stuff. I think it would be great if we did it together. Uh, why do you care, anyway? Oh, by the way, I uh, broke a pipe over there. I don't think it was important, though. So don't hit me, all right? I'll fix it myself. Bor has a pipe like that. I bet he'll trade it for a bottle of alcohol. He have a, uh, we have a couple of those, right? Uh, just stay here and don't go anywhere. Uh, no fixing anything, no trading anything. No trading anything. So I don't know what he's doing. Also, I hear you. I think there's another one. Uh, so we need to go over there to... There's definitely another one. These plants are everywhere. Uh, we need to go there to arrange for a party tonight. That's an interesting mission. I think. You know, old friends. That's really interesting. I really like that they redesigned the character, the, the, the whole thing, really, to be... Um, I really shouldn't have done that. No, I have an extra one. That's fine. Um, they redesigned the, the, the campaign to uh, to have friends and stuff. That's really cool. Got a lot of chisels. I don't even remember what those are for. Did I come here? Oh, yeah. This is Bad Grief's place. Oh, he might have things for me. Although, he, his prices are tremendous. Lee bad. <laughs> Hello. Oh, and we got a save in here. All the good stuff. And Vlad stays quiet. Has his finger in the pie, I'm sure. A guest is best when you see them less. I'm sorry. Clearly, you're terribly busy here. Indeed, I am. Business doesn't make itself. How oh, someone spins the gears. What's wrong? I've got enough on my plate. Will you tell me? No. Long tongues lead to short lives. If you have a point, get to it. If not, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Well, uh, we're getting together this tonight. Um, the four of us. The old place. Huh? <laughs> Why all of a sudden? You know, it's, uh, we haven't seen each other in a while. The old place, as in by the Gumstone? At the railroad? Uh, yeah, next to the basket. Nah, go ahead. The three of you will have more fun without me. 
You know, me and Stack are at each other's throats too. We can barely stand. He can barely stand me. Blames me for my father's death. Wow. <laughs> what tree did he fall from to hurt his head so? Must have been that new tower. <laughs> well, precisely. I don't know, Cub. I've got a full plate here. Those men, the night hunters, they're too fond of playing with knives. Way too fond. Where where would they all even where did they all even come from? The ones cutting people? That's not my fault, but somehow it is. Never took blood, but I dressed for a red harvest. How it bloomed. Never mind, I'll deal with it myself. Uh So take this chance to explain it to Stack and Lara and me. A well-honed tongue breaks bone. Not in this game, he doesn't. Uh, and here comes Artemi. Artemi of the Academy. What do you need? Any insight on what's going on around town? Ah, sure, I've got insight. Got everything in sight. Death has his hands full. Our grand leader, Simon, drew his last breath. What else do you want to know about? The bosses and their schemes or the rumor mill? The bosses? Tell me about the balance of power. Yeah, still the same. Sabarov the Hawk is in charge, but he's all squawk. <laughs> the Canes, as usual, rack their brains on how to move the town downriver. Quacks all. The tower already floats. Mark my words, they'll hang the next district in the clouds. As for the master... The boss. Yeah. Nah, well, he's the master. You mean Fat Vlad? Sure I do. He's sitting pretty, the ugly bastard. Also, master there, also because he's a slave driver, I think. So that it might be better than just boss. Anyway, he's sitting pretty, the ugly bastard. Put me at the heart of the warehouses. No complaints here. Quaint little abode and under my f feet a uh, whole railroad. You don't bother Vlad and he won't bother you neither. Well, he's a scumbag. And he's a money bag first and foremost, friend. He runs this whole machine. Feeds the town, allows us to earn our keep. Not just me, but everyone here. How many folks work at the cannery? At the station? The warehouses alone house 400, and everyone gets paid solid coin. Here in the warehouses, you mean? Also, it's interesting, he feeds the town? No, the people who work for him feed the town. The, the, just because the money goes through him doesn't mean the work isn't being done by somebody else. Um, let's go with that one. I don't know... I don't know. I want to ask specifically if he is a slave driver or not, so I'm going to say that. Yeah, coin, just one. Barely enough to survive. You step people. All you know is herding cows and pushing plows. We have to look to tomorrow, cub. You think the canes are interested in architecture for what? Its own sake? Even so, we will pay for it. No, who will pay for it? Gotta think with your stomach some of the time. The master is a shrewd man, although he did ban entrance to the termitary. Now, for that, I wasn't a fan. What's going on with that, anyway? Uh, folks there have, you know, had problems with Fat Vlad, and it almost turned violent. It makes sense, too. I mean, 5,000 animals are bound to turn into beasts. Your kind is like a pack of dogs. One howls and the rest follow. But still, pack of dogs? <laughs> yeah, I'll find out more. I'll be sure of that. And we can trade. That is interesting. So, we have bullets. Supremely expensive bullets. We have a knife. Very nice knife. We have needles. Uh, and you have a lot of money. So I could sell... I wonder... I think his prices are crap. I think selling to him is a bad thing. Should probably save. Just before we leave. Yeah, let's look at our map. Or our journal, rather. So Lara, Bad Grief, Ruben, and I are meeting after midnight in the old place. Good, that's done for today. I invited Gr It's still Act 2. It's not Day 2. Interesting. I misread that before. Uh, I invited Grief to meet old friends. We'll see if he comes. Well, hopefully he will. I want to see what happens. Bachelor Dagnkovsky has seemed... has deemed me worthy of speaking with him and wants to see me at once. It must be something serious. Yes, it must be. But more importantly, I need to go there. Wait a minute. Because I need to go there as well. I need to go there as well. Dang it! So many things. I need. That's where I need to go. Oh man! I need to go over there, but that doesn't matter. That can wait. Okay, I am. Walk forward, please. I am. Uh, not certain. 
if I'll have time. I'm thinking... Because my exhaustion is now almost to the point where I need to sleep. Oh, there's people over there. That's where we're going. We're going to take a, 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 a coffee. Hi. Now everyone acknowledges you. Everyone says you have embarked upon the path of your father. Make it so they unlock the termitary. Bite Karan. Something's about to... Uh, about, something's off about it. Trouble must be brewing. What trouble? We don't know. Make them tell us. Make them open the termitary. Make whom? Fat Vlad? He won't listen. Everyone says you're now a Menku. Once you're already, uh, you're, once you're allowed to cut bodies, cut my brother, please. Release him of evil meat, so he may speak. I, what? Uh, when will I be allowed to do that? The elders will say when. Can we bring my brother to you? Will you cut him? A, cut it away his pain. Sure. You were unjustly suspected yesterday, but now everyone. Th th that's not a transitive verb. Verb. So, suspected of something. Anyway. Uh, but now everyone believes you. My sister is about to give birth. The older women say the child is big, she is small, and so she will die if not helped. Will you help her? Yeah, I will. Bring her here when the water breaks. Uh, so we're going inside because I think that's what we're meant to do. Also, having a save in here is a good thing. Aspidi. Harish. Bechareb Badojo by Nam. I am sorry. Bechara, you are a true heir to Isidore. You know it with alacrity. You show it with alacrity with your deeds. You know the ties that bind the world. Let's well, just try to follow the lines. Any new thoughts on the contents of the Udar? Udhar. The murderer still breathes. That's what's bothering me. Okay, so that's done right there. So we'll take a coffee pill. Save over here, just to look around a little bit. Also, might as well pay attention to my things. See if they they didn't lose durability. There you are. Is she just going to stay here moping? <laughs> what a terrible existence. Uh, so there's some blood. I could take it with me to give it to the earth. That'd be nice. Uh, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to reload there. And I'm pretty sure I'm healthy enough to take coffee. Because I think coffee damages your health. Um, in real life and in the game. Yay. Not re not so much in real life. I mean, I guess some people are more susceptible to it. It's complicated. Caffeine is a thing. Caffeine is a, is a, is a drug. So, coffee. Yes. Coffee beans. Let's touch that. You forgo you can forgo sleep with coffee for a week or more if need be, but it's a bad idea. Whoever refuses dreams their fate to pass them over. Yes, it is a bad idea. We do need to dream, but we need to dream only once a day. So if this doesn't fully heal my exhaustion, and even if it does. Oh no. Hunger gets affected? No, it's not that much. Health does get affected. Okay, so you know what, we're we're gonna take only one, but that's not great. That's only twenty five percent, there or thereabouts anyway of um, of uh, sleep, gone. So I I have need of a lot of coffee. If I need a full bar of sleep per day, which I think I do, it also damages health quite a lot, but that's less of a problem. This is for fixing blade weapons. Bladed weapons. I can also sell it, which is great. Uh, let's keep an eye. We have a water bottle. Let's just use that. Keep that over there. So we're going to sell these. Well, we're going to sell one. I think I'm, I might be, not be able to sell them. Uh, let's just save. So my health vision is looking very bad now. And it will look very bad for a little while, but it's okay. So we need to go over there, but we're going to just go to the... Work uh, to the bar first and foremost. Yeah, there's a passage. That sounds good. Hmm. Having low health is a dangerous thing. I really wish 
I really wish this. Oh, okay, that's good. Having low health is a dangerous thing, but more so in the night. Okay. Oh, right, because this is the plague district. Is there only one entrance? I should be okay of, um, if I save here, go down there, see if I can sell anything, or buy anything for that matter. Some food would be welcome. Uh, and if I can't do anything of the sort, I will just be able to, um, to not do that. Our big city guest is a little too fast on the draw, isn't he? He didn't talk the last time I was here. Fancy a drink? Yeah, I found a note and a key in father in my father's house. Signed, V.O. Were you the one who granted him access to a factory cellar? So you found it. I hope you had enough sense not to mention it in uh, to my father. Also a V.O. What happens to, to own... Who happens to own the factory, all its sellers, and all its workers? <laughs> you rebelled against your father? How did it happen? Ah, uh, my dear uh, Tiemi, I appreciate that you are a straightforward man, so I'll be honest with you. Your people, or rather, what's left of them, that whole community called the Kin, they all but belong to my family, to my father. The Kin are a commodity, the workforce for the bull enterprise. Yeah, father told me it was my father. My father told me it was more like slavery. Oh, I quite agree. Well, you should know that I don't condone my esteemed father's methods, and I will rule the bull enterprise one day. As an insightful and assiduous owner, I would like to create a more productive and efficient foundation for our industrial empire. Do you understand? Not quite. I would like to revive the kin and its dignity. I'm fond of your traditions. They are unusual, almost miraculous. I don't believe in mysticism, but one has to accept the obvious facts. So I chose I chose to give your father an opportunity to study some of them. What exactly was he doing there? I can't say for sure. I've there in the termitary, I suppose. I can't say for sure. I've been to the place a few times. He never really said it. He said it. I, I, he says specifically, I chose to t let your father study them. But he doesn't say that my father was in the termitary. I must see between the lines. The game is not explicit, and that's definitely how the, this writing, uh, the writing of this game is. Is it, it, everything gets past you if you just read it at a face value and don't think too much about it. Everything will just you won't catch anything. <laughs> And it's super easy for that to happen as well, especially on a first playthrough. Anyway, I can't say for sure. I've been to the place a few times, but never had an opportunity to scrutinize your father's work. I think he was combining unusual ingredients, making organic mixtures of some sort. He had a fascinating theory about natural elements and how they intertwine a universal th synthesis hypothesis, which is the... Oh, we, we've heard of, it, of this before in this game, haven't we, about the elements? I think we have. That's what that is. Uh, in the... Uh, actually, in the first half... Uh, I don't know when this game takes place, but if it's in the first half, at least up until the first half of the 20th century. Uh, in the first half of the 20th century, we didn't know... Well, you know, insofar as science knows. Uh, but, like, atoms weren't an absolute certainty. Or, they're not an absolute certainty, because that's how science works. But rather what we now know about atoms and elements and, and the periodic table and all that, those were super in the air. There are scientists that were almost certain of, of their d d calculations. There's one specific Russian scientist who was super influential in the... I don't remember his name, though, unfortunately. Um, it was super influential in... The, Sergei, I believe. Sergei something. Uh, super influential in the, in the construction of the periodic table. And... Um, but even... Like, in the, in the 30s, we weren't, like, Einstein knew all these things about splitting the atom and all that sort of stuff, but there were still scientists using the scientific method and peer-reviewed and all, like, normal science that were not atomists, to, to the point where atomism is a thing. People believed the world was made of atoms, and they were sort of studying that, and then other scientists believed it was something else, and they were trying to study something else. Uh, because, of course, you know, science begins with conjecture and trying to prove a, prove an hypothesis and all that sort of stuff. 
so speaking of hypotheses, I was just my mouth on it. So uh, I think that's what th this is all about. Just very own theme, and I like that a lot. And also, if you haven't uh, studied uh, or read anything about the uh, origins of specifically the periodic table, which you might have studied in school, uh, go ahead and re uh, give it a look at the Wikipedia entry. That's uh, the Wikipedia is always so fantastic because it's always an, a nice introduction to anything, and then you have all the references, and you go there and you read more, if you want to. Otherwise, you just read the his history. I, I like <laughs> actually I do that a lot. I well, I do have. I do have a degree in, in history, effectively. Um, basically, I don't know the, uh, I don't know, I don't know the what something means. I I'll go to the Wikipedia page. And I'll look at the basic definition and then I'll look at the history because that's so so important in understanding our current understanding of things. Of course, in scientific math uh, manners, it's a little bit different, but still, the history of science is fascinating. Anyway, this is all about the lines and all that. Uh, do you know how the contraption works? The termitary? No, he assembled it himself. I doubt he explained how it works to anyone. Wait a minute, what contraption? What are we talking about here? I guess you'll have to figure that out on your own. And remember what I told you about before. Be discreet. I would hate it if anyone found out about the place. Do I have your word? Uh, there's an urchin who knows about the place already. But I'll, I'll, I'll take care of him. Please do. Deal. The contraption is my place. I'm not really sure what bit of the contraption it is. So, he has some money. We can buy some things. Twirine is a thing that I could buy. What is the expensive blood twire? Sure. Sure. Lemons? No, I'm paying... Hmm. That sounds good. We can do that. Okay. See you tomorrow. Hopefully it's not blood tomorrow again. Blood wire. Anyway, that's that was very important. I was not expecting to find people to talk to down here. Keep an eye on that other place over there. Because I don't know if anybody's going to spawn. Our exhaustion is going up. I wonder if the coffee crashes us, like it sends it down, but then it doesn't, and then it comes back up, because that would be realistic. Uh, kid, come back up with a vengeance. Okay, so we're uh, we're going over there. How do I get there? What is that? I, I haven't I haven't been there. I might die. I'll try and go over there. No, I can't. Dang it. <sighs> Save scum. It's important not to waste too much time in here, but it's also not to wa it's important not to waste time at all. Uh, so yeah, to move around stealthily, press control. This will make it harder for you for your opponents to notice you. Yes, it will. It's actually it's very good. Uh, I I it's a good thing I also it's also a good thing that I repair my revolver because that thing ha I hear. Actually, I tried it, not on people though, off camera. Uh, it it doesn't have accuracy. And it, it, it was because it was broken. Okay, my immunity is going down. Speaking of which, these should be going down as well. They are. Sort of. Uh, that one, I think, is going down a little bit. Okay, let's look at the map. People are moaning. Oh, and this place is plagued. Also, how do I get in there? Oh, dang it. Oh, this is gonna be a, a trial run. Maybe. What the hell? Okay, it's in through here. Let's see what we have. We're gonna have a lamp. And we're gonna see, because I think we're we're about to catch the plague. Or maybe we're not. I mean it looks like we are. It sounds like we are. Freaking hell it sounds like we are. Yep. This is awful. Yep. 
don't know if that thing goes spindle. The heck is a spindle? I'll take it. That one I can't take. I don't know if I'm opening things with the uh, tweezers. I can't get those though. Huh. I don't know if I if I want to do this. It's almost out of thread. These are made for repairing. Should have left. Is this where I need to go? It is where I need to go. And I need to do an autopsy? Oh, yeah, we shouldn't have picked that up. Well, uh, let's try that again, and now that I, especially now that I know where it is and how to get in here. I don't know, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll not bother, I'll get, I'll, I'll not bother opening things, or rather, let me, let me see if this, yeah, it's not infected, but these might be, immunity doesn't go down with that, anyway, I'll not bother lockpicking anything, uh, and I'll not bother picking up anything out there, because there's plenty of things to pick up here, but, uh, it, it, we are out of time for the day, so let's get back up here next episode, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pathologic 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.